Hey guys, Damon FEV here with Drone Racing Academy. Today's video is all about orbits. I'm going to teach you how to do them nice and smooth for freestyle, or how you can evolve them into other moves like ladders and corkscrews for racing. So this is a very versatile move that's really, really interesting and fun to do. Stay tuned! Drone Racing Academy. What's an orbit? It's very simple. You're basically just spinning around in a circle around a specific object in the middle of your view. You can use that in both freestyle and racing. Uh, I'll talk about racing a little bit after this, but in freestyle obviously you can circle around interesting objects, uh, just kind of create the whole Marvel cinematic view style that was very made very famous in their kind of Avengers movies. It's a very cool move, it's a lot of fun to do, it looks very smooth and very cool. For racing, you can use that to evolve into something like a ladder or a corkscrew. And it's a very strong basic building block skill that you need to learn in order to be able to do those things well. So with that in mind, we're going to use MCK Tract today to practice this. So if you go to Track Editor, go to Download, what you're going to do is going to go for the MCK Track. I like this track a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, the one that we're using is MCK Practice Ladder Skates ESD. So if you just download that, then you can follow along if you want to. Um, as before, I highly recommend using a TBS spec quad for practice because it's a lot more controllable and it's easier to learn things uh, when it's not going at a blistering pace. So we're going to use that to show you guys today. And then we're going to go for the MCK practice track. So while it's loading, uh, an orbit is a really, really interesting move because it, it forces you to combine a throttle roll and yaw in a very efficient manner. So I'm going to show you what that means. So first I'll show you what it looks like. This is what an orbit looks like. Uh, let's just pick a, let's just center pylon to kind of orbit around, right? So let me show you my sticks. So on the bottom you can see my sticks right there. So, so the orbit, this is what an orbit looks like, right? You're going to spin around an object at a constant velocity and also kind of a constant distance away from it where the object is always in the center of your view. That's the goal of the orbit. You can do it uh, a wide orbit, kind of more cinematic style for, I guess, freestyle where you circle around a cool object, where it can go really tight, uh, which is much more useful for racing. Um, and it's the building block for a ladder, right? You can, you can go up and down as you're doing this as well. So how do you do an orbit? What I would do to start is start off by getting really up nice and close to this object and go really slow, right? What an orbit really is, is just a mixture of roll. So you start off by rolling. If you're going to orbit this direction, you're going to roll to the right, right? As you notice, when I do that, my screen dips to the right, right? You, you kind of tilt it. You don't want that, especially for a cinematic view, right? You want to be able to kind of even out your horizon. How do you do that? You push your left stick, which is the yaw, right? So notice how my left stick is being pushed right now. So you're going to compensate with your left stick and you're going to hold the two together to keep an even horizon. See, now it's nice and even, it's nice and smooth, and I'm spinning around this object at a constant speed. And that's how you do a nice smooth orbit, right? The key here is that you don't want any kind of jerky compensation uh, with, with this motion because it doesn't look good and you, you're kind of swinging all over the place, right? The other thing too is um, you want to be able to keep it nice and constant. If, if you're kind of swinging in and out, something like this, you, you haven't found the balance point, right? See how I'm swinging in and out? Like it's, it's an ellipse at this point, right? What you need to do is basically find that balance point between your roll, yaw, and throttle so that you can kind of keep a c consistent orbit motion around this object. And that's what you're going for. Now, once you've mastered this, you can start making variations by, you know, moving up in an orbit, moving down during an orbit, you can speed it up and slow it down, you can do a wide orbit, you can do a close orbit. Uh, before I go into that, let me just show you some kind of basic mistakes that people tend to make when doing orbit. So one is you're under yawing, right? So as mentioned before, if I'm tilted, if I'm rolling to the right and I'm not yawing enough, notice how my horizon is now tilted? So that's under yaw, right? So what I do is I just give it enough yaw, now it's balanced. Now over yaw is the other way around. Oh, you can't even do it. Over yaw is when my screen tilts the other way. And you're just kind of going out of control. It's hard to orbit with over yaw, actually. 
Yeah, so that's what that one looks like. <laughs> if you're yawning too much, your screen tilts the other way, and you, you lose your orbit. I, I don't think it's possible to maintain it that way. So the key here is your yaw control, right? Finding the yaw to hold it in a nice spot, and then moving your throttle up and down to keep it in a nice smooth motion. Now, now that you've mastered that, you can make variations. So one of the first things you can do is moving up or down during an orbit. So once again, we start our orbit, and then if I pull back on my stick slightly, on a right stick for uh, pitch, if I pitch back, I move up. If I pitch forward ever so slightly, I start moving down, right? So I can orbit while going up and down an object, which is kind of cool, right? And this is basically what you're doing for, for ladders for racing. So kind of get a feel for that and get a sense for how you can move up and down an object while you're circling it. See that? It's kind of cool. If you find a nice tall building or a nice tall structure, you can do that. Now, next thing that you can do is you can speed up or slow down an orbit, and that's mostly coming from your throttle. Now, keep in mind, the more throttle you give, the more roll you're going to have to give to be able to keep yourself in the circular motion, right? So see how I'm, I'm spinning really fast now? I'm giving it quite a lot of roll. Now, I'm going slowly, much less roll. Keep an eye on my right stick, right? Now, now this is a slow orbit, not much roll. Speed it up, suddenly I'm almost to the edge, or even towards the edge, right? So that's how you can speed up or slow down an orbit. You're also going to be pitching a little bit more forward when you're when you're going at a higher speed. Now you can be also do a wide orbit, which is kind of cool for interesting structures or big buildings and whatnot, right? And that's kind of, or you can do a really tight one where you kind of come, come right close up to it for racing. So that's an orbit, and those are all the kind of variations of things that you can do. And once you learn the orbit, um, you can do interesting things like a ladder for racing, right? So, so that's what a ladder is, right? And a ladder is really just an orbit around the pole of the gate, and that's what that is. I'm going to be doing a video on ladders right after this because it's a natural progression, uh, so stay tuned for that if that's what you're interested in. For now, the last thing to learn for orbits is how do you enter an orbit. The entry speed is super important. If you go too fast, right, let's, let's, go, let's go really fast, and if I don't compensate for it, I blow it out. See how wide my first one is and before I can bring it in? That's not so good, right? So what you can do is you can pre-turn. Oh, overdid it there. You can pre-turn into it where you're turning early to shave off some speed, and then you go into the orbit really quickly, right? The key here is to basically slow yourself down enough so that you get into your comfortable range where you can do your orbit at the speed that you're trying to do. So that's really important, being able to shave off your speed. And usually the way people do it is by something called a pre-turn. So it's just, that just means you're turning early, swinging it more than you would, and then you, you stabilize into the orbit. And that's how you do an orbit. So this is a really cool move. Practice this in the simulator first, and then you can start bringing it out into the field. You can circle around interesting objects for freestyle, uh, or you can start learning a ladder for racing. And that's going to come next. So practice this. Um, upload some cool videos of you orbiting stuff. It's really, really fun. Remember the key is to keep it nice and smooth. Keep your horizon level. And make sure that all three axes are constantly well balanced. And that's how you can do a very good orbit. This has been Drone Racing Academy with Damon FPV. Uh, it's my pleasure to kind of talk you guys through this. The next video coming would be ladders, which builds off of this principle. And um, please remember to subscribe and ring the bell as well so that you know any new videos coming up. And please leave a comment down below as well to tell me what was useful for you, what was not as useful, or are there any other suggestions you have for me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So go out and orbit some stuff.